After removing your mattress, unscrew the support bar located above the spring base and slide it out of the wooden bed ends. Then place the bar back on the wooden bed ends below the spring base and tighten the knobs. This is used to support the wooden bed ends when moving your bed to the lofted position. After placing the support bar below the spring base, unscrew the spring base and slide it to your desired height. Make sure all of the hooks are secure on the pins and then tighten the knobs. To keep your bed stable, the support bar should mirror the position of the spring base. If you lofted your bed to the highest position, the support bar should be moved to the lowest position. If your bed is lofted to the fourth or third position, the support bar should be moved to the second position. Once you have your support bar in the correct position, you can place your mattress back onto the spring base. To attach a ladder to your bed, simply lift the ladder, slide the hooks under the spring base, and slowly place it to the desired position. If your bed is lofted, you must have a guardrail. First, take off your mattress or have one person hold up the mattress while the other slides the guardrail onto the spring base. Position it onto the opposite side of your ladder. Make sure to place the back side of the guardrail onto the spring base, with the front side facing the ceiling. Then pull it toward the edge of the bed until it stops against the metal frame. Now you can pull it up towards you so that it clips onto the spring base. Set your mattress back on the spring base and pull it up against the guardrail. If your bed is not against a wall in your room, you will need to submit a fix-it request for another guardrail. Then repeat the process on the other side of your bed. This is a two-person job. Do not attempt to loft the bed by yourself. If you need additional help with lofting your bed, you can submit a fix-it request form on your My Housing portal.